this is the finished look I'm not sure what I feel about this it's quite pink it was trendy in 2016 so I just felt like doing my own rendition of this look and as you can see I am very fair compared to my own skin tone this is saddening you know how people glorify fairer skin tone that people with tanner skin tone which is a normal skin tone for us in Southeast Asia feel insecure and inferior in their own skin because of the society confirming that having fairer skin tone is actually more beautiful it has been embedded in my head that I'm not pretty I grew up feeling like I'm not pretty, hence I'm venturing into makeup at the early age of 12 years old, If as far as I could remember. It took me 20 years of my life to realize how wrong have I been. I, I, I don't know what, what to feel. I'm, yeah, it took me 20 years to feel happy and to feel comfortable and confident in my own skin so to you girls and guys out there if you feel like you're not beautiful just remember that everyone is beautiful there is no one that can be you better than you so just embrace your own beauty and just live happily just be happy people <laughs> Just be happy. Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. It's me again, your homegirl from Down Under. I'm back again with another video. In this video, I would like to do a soft, pinkish, doll-ish makeup tutorial. Just like what you have seen all over the Instagram since the past year. Because apparently, it's a very popular look within the... Malaysian, I mean the Malay beauty community so I figure I just want to try my own rendition of this dolly pinky look so if you would like to see how I go on with I'm just I'm just going to wing it so if you would like to see how how I try to achieve that look then please keep on watching we're having heat wave here in Australia and the temperature today is 32 degrees celsius it's very hot um not too hot compared to yesterday yesterday was 40 something but it's still hot so if you heard the sound of the fan in the background i'm sorry i couldn't help it i have to have the fan on or else i would die melted and all so let's get on with the video in this video, I would be using products that you can find in the drugstore. I'm starting off with the foundation. I noticed the trend in the Malay beauty community is to have porcelain clear skin. And it's a plus point if you have fair skin to begin with. Because the beauty standard here in Malaysia especially in the Malay community the fairer your skin is the more beautiful you are so I'm nowhere near fair I, I don't have fair skin so I'm going to fix that using foundation that is lighter than my skin tone would you look at that <laughs> I'm going to apply oh my god I'm going to apply this all over my face I'm using this Essence Essence Soft Touch Mousse Makeup in the color Matte Ivory. Damn, that is white. Damn, I look like a ghost. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Next, I'm going to apply concealer to highlight my under eye and the middle of my face. 
I was going to use this Maybelline Pure Mineral Concealer, if you could see that. But it is currently darker than my foundation color. How would I highlight with this? This is my highlight color, and now it is darker than my base shade. This is crazy. I I I don't get it. Why why do people want to be so ghostly white? So I'm just going to use the lightest concealer that I have which is the all around concealer by Catrice Cosmetic I'm going to blend it out using my beauty sponge early 2016 having white huge forehead seems to be the trending perfect perfection thingy like everyone claims to have huge forehead when in fact they just wear their hijab tightly and I don't understand human next I'm going to apply blusher and since I don't have any cream blusher I'm just going to use this this pink shade from the Catrice concealer palette that I was using earlier as my blush color the goal here is to look like your skin is so clear that all your black vessels are showing through that sounds about right just apply lots and lots of blush don't stop until you look like a red tomato girl I actually look like I got stung by bees on my cheeks I'm going to bronze up my skin using powders that are actually my real skin tone my actual skin tone so I'm going to use a huge brush for this and apply this on the outer perimeter of my face next I'm going to contour so I'm going to use my Ardor Ardor Shadow Is that how it's pronounced? By Elian I'm going to use an angled contouring brush for this I'm not going too heavy because It's going to look harsh Because the skin is so So clear and white dark shadows would make it look muddy is that it? next I'm going to I don't next I'm going to do my eyebrows using this Elfar eyeliner pencil. I got this from Daiso. It is a brown eyeliner pencil, but it is very waxy and hard. I went ahead and set both of my eyebrows using the Daiso Clear Brow Mascara. Clear mascara. Can't remember the name. And I also cleaned up my brows using the foundation that I used earlier. For the eyes, it's very simple. You just need two blushes and a color that is um, shimmery or glittery. Unfortunately, I don't have any drugstore blusher. You don't have to get this. You can just use any blusher that I'm you have. I'm going to use this fluffy blending brush and apply this color on my crease I'm going to take this smooth colored blush and apply it closer to my crease to deepen the crease I'm going to use this glitter shadow and apply it on the center of my lid. You can use any glitter that you have. 
I know Revlon has some good ones but I tak ada duit so I tak beli using the same lusher that I use on my upper lid and apply it on my lower lash line I'm taking my Maybelline Master Liner in black and I'm going to tight line my eyes next I'm taking a nude colored eyeliner and apply it on my waterline this is from Rimmel do we have Rimmel in Malaysia? we do we do right? or we do I'm not sure I'm using this one from Essence the Great Big Lashes in the year 2016 people are quite obsessed with the ombre lips yeah. probably inspired by the Korean makeup so I'm going to do just that so for the lips I'm going to use this Ilianto S03 lipstick now that I have that color on I'm going to take this Silky Girl Moisturish Lipstick in code Vamp number 10 and apply it on the center of my lips. To tie the look together, I'm going to take this Multi Cheek Professional Makeup Artist Blush from Daiso. I'm just going to apply this as my highlighter. The top of my cheeks. Thank you. 